Hello people, this is Colin from Cam Decorations. Uh, just gonna give you an update of the kitchen that I've been doing. Um, it's taken like literally maybe about uh, ooh, six or seven hours to get this kitchen prepped. And I've spent the rest of the time doing the touch-ups and stuff like that, as you can see to the MDF. Right, so, I've gone round. Don't know if you can be able to see it or not. But I've gone round and I've filled, I've caught up. I've done the rest of the masking on the floor, as you can see. Um, I've still got little bits of caulking to do here and there. Uh, I reckon that will fill up with paint, but we'll put a bit of bead cork down there. And as you can see, I've gone round and spotted in and touched up the MDF, any bare bits that are on the woodwork. As you can see where it's whiter than the rest of, rest of the um, colour, that's where I've spotted in. Um, because the idea behind that is that I want to make sure, before I put the primer coat on, that everything is one coated. So there's no bare parts, so when I do put the primer on, there's not one part of the woodwork that's got less amount of paint than the rest of it. <coughs> right. Right, so, I've masked up inside the units, as you can see, to make it easier for me to cut in. Um, as you can see, interior is finished. So the idea is that I'm able to paint this, got to give three coats. So rather than try and cut it all in on each coat and take my time doing that, if I mask it up, then I'm able to move quicker when it comes to cutting it all in. So every unit that has a door in it has been masked up. So that took a bit of time as well. So as I said, I mean, this kitchen is got to take a bit of time. The windows, I've had to mask up. Um, as I say, it's getting three coats on it, so it's just made sense to mask it up um, and paint it that way rather than trying, especially if you have a look at that bead. It's tiny, so to cut that in without getting any paint on the glass, it would just take me ages. So it just seemed a lot easier. Um, these are the doors that had the spice racks on, so I've taken them off to paint up the MDF that was behind it. So obviously that began in the same colour. I've still got a bit of prep work down the side there, around the top, bit of caulking. Um, top in there, that's going to get coated up, paint around the lights. Um, all the units you can see now, they've all been spotted in. And I've come up with the idea, the best way to do this would be to paint it, would be to take the drawers out, Put them on top of the units, label them up, paint them. Once I've completed the unit, put the drawers back in, and that way I know exactly what drawers will come from where. So, this is the first coat on this unit that's going to be sitting on the countertop. A little bit worried, really, with the coverage. Um, I don't know if you can see, let's get right close up. I mean, this is his first coat and it's kind of thin, so it's worried me that will I be able to get this to cover in three coats, because it's a three coat system. This is the primer on the coat. Then obviously you've got two top coats on top, so we'll have to see with that. And it worried me so much that with the drawer, I decided to give it a seven co second coat of the coat just to see what it would come out like. Um, I don't know if you can actually see but even with the second coat, you've got some streaks, and this is the undercoat, so I don't know what the coverage is gonna be like with the gloss, well, not the gloss, with the top coat, because it's flat uh, and it's wall based so I don't know. I mean, this is the coverage with one coat, and as you can see, it's quite brush marky, and that is the coverage too. It's a lot better, so hopefully, it will cover with three. I mean, I don't know. I'm hoping it does, because I don't really want to go around and paint these units four times, because there's a lot. Um, so, today, what's on the agenda today is to carry on the first coat. So, that's completed. I've got to do the rest of this. 
And we've got to do the utility room. Let's take you in there. <coughs> Same thing in the kitchen. I've gone through, I've spotted up, picked up all the bed bits and pieces, done the filling and caulking. It's all rubbed down. This handle, um, because the sink's in place now, can't take the hand off, so I've had to mask that up and I've got the paint underneath it and so I'll make sure that's good. Washing machine still needs to come out so I can paint the door. It doesn't open up unless the power's on, so we're gonna have to take that out. I managed to do inside the edge. Like I said in my last video, I weren't too sure, but I've got that quite well, so we shall see. I might say to him, just open up the door and then maybe I can get it on. But <coughs> Same process with the masking up inside to make it easier for me to cut in. So, it's not bad really. I've got that, managed to get that done in a day. See you later. Bye. So, it's not bad. I managed to get that done in a day. I've done all right really. Um, but there's still so much work ahead of me. So, not too sure what's going on with these panels. We're not too sure if you're going to bring them in the kitchen color, uh, kitchen color units, or if you're going to use the same type of paint that we use for the skirting, which is a perma white, um, which is called, I should say, it's called perma white, matte flat finish it is. So let's give you a close up of it. So these skirts, I sprayed them all to a finish. I have, but. The homeowner decided afterwards that they would like this panelling on the wall and to tell the truth I think it's quite effective. This is the utility room. Um, so I think it is quite effective. So I think he's going to paint himself. He's not too sure. It's not 100%. So once he decides on that, we know where we're going with that. But for the time being, I'm seeing it as we're going to leave that alone and we're just going to concentrate on the kitchen units. So. So yeah, overall, I think I've done all right for day two in there. Um, as I say, it's a lot of work. So I need to crack on today because this is the beginning of day three. So I'm going to put on the rest of the rest of the first coat. Hopefully I can get it all done today. But as I say, there's a lot of finicky little bits and pieces that need to be done. <laughs> so, and I'll tell you what I forgot. Which I might as well show you now. I forgot about the inside doors that they need to be painted and filled as well. So if you have a look, I haven't done it under the cracks on the inside. All right, so you know doors do open up, and I do need to prep those as one paint those. So I've got at some point I've got to fill those up, rub them down, and paint them up. But right now I'm concentrating on the first coat so we can fill that up at another date after I finish the first coat. I'm not gonna go back and do that now. I wanna get on and get it painted. Right, okay. So, that's the Mark Wilkinson kitchen. Do a close up of that. Da, da, da. Mark Wilkinson. So yeah, okay, this is pretty much what I've done in two days. Don't look like I've done a lot, but you know, trust me, it's, it's a lot. Um, and I'll see you on the flip side.